Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and I'm sorry that I didn't upload last week, but I was sick, so I was not able to upload. I may still sound a little nasally today, but uh, hopefully that'll be gone soon. Anyways, what we're going to be building today is, uh, in a previous video, I built this pretty much jungle biome, also bird slash bird cage, and... Uh, quite a few people enjoyed this one, and I said if you guys wanted, or if enough people liked it, I could build more of these next to each other, and so that's what we're going to do today. Today, I'm, the one we're going to be building is uh, an ocean biome, so what you're going to be needing for this is some white stained glass, some normal glass, some sand, a water bucket, and some squid uh, spawn eggs. Uh, you guys can change up the glass, and if you guys uh, are going to do the ocean one that I'm doing today, then you should probably stick with the water bucket, sand, and uh, squid spawn eggs. But let's go ahead and get into this. So what you're going to want to do is make a uh, 20 by 20 square. So you need to, uh, going left from the previous build, go 20 with your white stained glass. And I'm sorry guys if there is a little bit of lag, but that would be due to my recording app. It sometimes make my makes Minecraft lag, and this is what I, this is the best I've got to work with. So uh, going back from this, you want to go back 19. Well, actually, you could just come all the way over here and take this out 20 as well. And uh, then you can just connect it. And uh, in this video, guys, I might show you a little sneak peek of the interior for that one mansion I did for the 100 subscribers. And uh, I have not done that one yet because, like I said, uh, it is pretty hard to do. So I would like to have a lot of input uh, from you guys telling me if I should do it or not. Because I really only want to do it if you guys want to see it. Because that would take a while to plan out for you guys. So uh, let me go ahead and turn this back today because we do not work in the night here. And uh, I will be back once I have done that. Okay guys, I'm back. And uh, what you're going to want to do now is uh, take your all four corners of the square that you've made... And you want to just bring it up until it meets the top of our other one, which I believe is also 19 blocks high. And you can just do this all the way around. And again, guys, this is uh, kind of a short, shorter video because... I have been sick recently, and I'm still feeling kind of uh, sick right now, so I still wanted to get a video out there for you guys, but it's not going to be a very long one, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, build up the four corners. Well, we only have two now, but I'm going to go ahead and build those up, and what you're going to want to do after that is uh, connect all four corners together with your white stained glass up at the top. I will show you what this looks like all in a second when I am back. Okay guys, I'm back and as you can see our square has now turned into a cube and what you guys are going to, going to do now is uh, taking your glass you're going to want to go and fill in all three panels that we have created with this glass and I'm gonna go ahead and do some of this with you guys but 
uh, I'm not going to do all of this on camera, so you guys don't have to sit here and uh, listen to me go around building all of it. But, uh, again, thank you guys so much for all the support I've gotten on this channel, and uh, here recently I've made it all the way up to about 200 subscribers in just um, 30 in the past 30 days, which is insane to me because I really did not think that I was going to get to that much this soon. But uh, thanks to you guys, it's possible. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of this off camera, and I will see you guys now. Okay, so. Uh, this is what you should have so far. I filled in all three sides, and I filled in the top. And again, you guys can change up the glass colors if you want, but I went ahead and stuck with this. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to break one of the pieces of glass up here. I'm going to do it in this corner and drop inside. And once you have, you're going to want to fill the entire bottom in with your sand. And, uh, sorry about that, guys. Uh, you guys can go ahead and fill all this in with sand. I know I left one block high over there and right there, but it's okay. You can go back and break it later if you want. But what I'm going to go ahead and do is kind of make it look more like its natural biome and just add some uh, different leveled terrain all over. That way some places you have some like hills of sand, some places you don't, some places it's just flat, but the reason I do that is because if you guys have ever, in a survival world, tried exploring underneath the ocean, and actually did without dying, because it is pretty hard to explore the oceans in survival, uh, it actually isn't all flat under there, it's, there's lots of hills and things like that so I'm gonna go ahead and do this off camera and add some hills in off camera I'll be right back for you guys right about now okay so once you guys have uh, filled the bottom of your cube in with the sand and added some little bits of mounds of sand here and there uh, you're going to want to take and fill this up with your water buckets. And in order to do this, you're going to want to go all the way around the sides here, filling it with water. Now this is can be a little bit tricky sometimes, and it does cause me a little bit of lag placing water, but it evens itself out pretty decently fast when I'm done placing all the water. So let's go ahead and uh, see exactly how much of this we've gotten done so far. This should be our last row. Okay, so all of our sides are done now. And we need to go and start filling the top in as well. I'm going to go ahead and do this off camera, that way you guys don't have to deal with the lag. And I will be right back in just a second. Okay, so uh, once you guys are done filling this completely in with water, it should look something a little bit like this. I did not com completely fill it in with water because it would take a few minutes. And uh, anyways, you guys, it'll take you a few minutes, but go ahead and do that. And you can just go ahead and start spawning in a bunch of squids. I Yes, you do need to spawn them in water. Once you guys have spawned yourself a bunch of squids, you can pretty much just step out here and watch your squids swim around inside there. And if you guys want, you can also, uh, add some other guardians or some normal guardians in there. Uh, as well, I'm going to go ahead and add some of those in, and I will be right back as soon as I do that. 
Okay, guys. Uh, once you guys have gotten all your guardians in there, you will see a bunch of guardians swimming around in there. But just as a reminder, your guardians will kill all of your squids. So if you want, it's you can really choose either or. If you want guardians or if you want squids, my choice would obviously be squids. But that's really up for you guys to to decide. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, thank you again for all the new subscribers and welcome to my channel again and I've noticed I've gotten all the way up to 200 subscribers and I just I thank you guys so much for that uh, go follow also go follow me on Twitter uh, link down in the description below and thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one